Hello and welcome to this lecture video. So in this video I'm going to be going over these additional problems that relate to managerial decision making. So what I'd like you to do if you're following along you're on page 307 of your course back which is right up here and we have these three additional problems. We have one that is a reworking of computers further processing problem. We have one that is a dropping a product line problem and then we have the third one over here on the next page, which is a special order problem. So what I'd like for you to do is take some time and pause the lecture video and do each of these three problems and then restart the lecture video. And during the after the restart, I'm going to be going over a spreadsheet that I've created that talks you how to solve each talks about how to solve each one of these problems. OK, so go ahead and pause the lecture video do problems one, two, and three on the next on these pages. And then we'll go ahead and go over a spreadsheet that shows you how to solve each of these problems. Okay. Okay, so for this first problem, the Henderson Company has 12 obsolete computers that are carried inventory cost of 13200 These computers are upgraded to cost of 7500 and if they could be, they're sold for a higher price of 195 Should the company sell them as is or should they further process them? So when we, the first thing we want to do is calculate our incremental revenue. So if we look over here, we have sell as is 9,000, upgrade and sell 19,5. The difference is 10,500. Incremental costs, if we sell it as is, there are no more costs. But if we upgrade it and sell it, it's told to us that we have a cost of 7,500. So therefore, the incremental cost is 7,500. We take our incremental revenue minus our incremental costs. That gives us our incremental profit. First, and then we have $9,000 for selling as is, $12,000 for upgrading and selling it, which gives us a $3,000 advantage to upgrading and then selling the computers, which is the $12,000 minus the $9,000. I did want to make a comment here that it does say in the problem that you have the 12 obsolete computers that are carried in an inventory cost of $13,200. That $13,200 is not included in my analysis anywhere in because it's a sunk cost and so it'd be the same in this situation sell as is as it would be an upgrade and sell it's the same okay so let's look at the next problem we have our henderson apparel company owns two stores and management is thinking about eliminating the e-store due to declining sales and then you have your segmented contribution margin and then the question says western feels that if they eliminate east that sales in West will decline by 20%. So if they close the East store, what will be the company's net income? And is that something that they should do? So when we look over here at the next problem. I set this up as comparative income statement. So if we don't drop the East store, we have our 510 and then we have our variable costs. So basically we just only have this, we have the total sales of 510, which is given to us. We have our total variable costs. And so we have our income of that $35,000 which is given to you. Now if you drop the e-store, we're told that it would reduce West Store's clients, uh, pardon me, West Store's by 20%. So what I did is I multiplied the $420,000 of sales for West by 0.8 to de decrease those by 20%. So now basically you have only West Store and then the sales would be 336, which is 20% lower. But that also means that variable costs, variable expenses, will also be 80% less. Oh, pardon me, 20% less. They will be 80% of that 210, which is equal to our 168. And then my direct fixed costs, those are costs that are directly attributed to our West Division. Those stay at 50,000. But you can see over here, if I draw, if I keep East, I have 75,000 because I have those $25,000 of direct fixed cost to the east store but if i drop east that twenty five thousand goes away and i only have the fifty thousand left over that are directly attributable to west then i have my segment margin which is just subtracting the two subtracting our sales minus our variable costs and our direct costs gives us our 118 then what we can see is we have those allocated fixed costs 110 for west and 35 for east for the comp for the total of 145. If we don't drop, if we keep east, it's 145. 
If we drop east, it still stays at 145. Now remember, this could be confusing, but remember, it's just like that library example that I've given to you in prior lecture videos, that you drop, if you drop one of the departments, those common allocated fixed costs get moved to other departments. So when we talked about the library, and we talked about different departments on campus, if we dropped one department, those library costs would just be allocated to other departments or other majors. So at the organizational level, they stay fixed, and so therefore they're staying the same. So then our net income is $27,000, was 35, is 27, so then basically we should not drop east because it will drop, we'll have a loss, and basically we also have a difference in profit of equal to $62,000, which is the difference between the 35 if we don't drop east, and then the loss of 27 if we do drop east. So you have basically have a $62,000 difference in profit. So you definitely don't want to do it. The last one is Finn Seafood has been approached by New England Investments, which wants to hold an employee recognition dinner. Uh, our manager agreed to a charge of $65 per person and dessert for 150, 150 people. She estimates that the cost of unprepared food would be $30 a person and beverages would be $12 per person. In order to accommodate the group, Lillian would have to close the restaurant. She typically serves 160, 160 people with an average bill of $50 a person. On a typical night, the cost of unprepared food is $18 a person. Beverages are 13. No additional staff would be hired. Calculate the incremental profit or loss. So normal night, we take our 50 times our 160. That gives us our revenue on a normal night. And then revenue on the special night, $65 a person times 150, gives us an incremental revenue of 1750. The cost on a normal night would be the $18 for the cost of unprepared food, plus the $13 of beverages times over 160. Over here, the 30 plus the 12 times 150 people. So we do have an incremental cost. And then we can take the profit, the 8,000 on a minus the 49.60 on a normal night, because it's 3,040. Our 97.50 revenue for New England seafood minus the $6,300 cost for accommodating New England seafood gives us a profit of 34.50. And then the incremental profit is 410 for taking the New England seafood. So what you should do is take that New England seafood deal. And this is basically a special order problem, okay? That concludes this lecture video covering additional problems. Thank you so much.